We're falling out, we have reached disaster Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again guys so we are about to spend the night together it's currently 9 30 p.m here but when you're watching this it will be thursday morning nice and early at 10 a.m i hope you're enjoying a nice hot cup of coffee relaxing and getting ready to get your day started on cleaning today we're going to have some extreme cleaning motivation ultimate clean decluttering organizing i've compiled a playlist basically of a bunch of my cleaning videos put together into one this way you can set your tv get ready to get started on your own home while kind of just having my video playing in the background to give you the ultimate motivation to get it all done tackle everything on your to-do list and get your house nice and tidy to gear up for the weekend so today is going to be my first ever cleaning marathon two hours of tons of content and motivation for you guys we're falling falling down we fading but I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of breakers down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega Like the waves blow you down underwater until we hit the bottom And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again We're falling, we're falling down, we're fading But I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega even if we go a lot of breakers down, I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega As you can see here, I'm just cleaning up my kitchen. That's usually, I would say, about 90% of the time the first area that I like to clean in my house because chances are it's usually the messiest and it's one of the very first things you see when you come into my house. So it gives me a very clear mind once that area is tackled first. So we do dishes, clear off countertops, deep clean the stove, all of that good stuff to get you guys geared up. If you are enjoying these kinds of videos, I am sure you have seen them circling around YouTube cleaning marathon definitely let me know in the comment section below so I can know to have more to give you guys a lot of things to watch and lots of things that you are of course enjoying I would love to share more of on my channel and we do it all again and again and again and again again and again and again and again we're falling we're falling down we fading but I know know that we can save it cause we're like alpha and omega whatever happens doesn't matter i know we can sort it out alpha and omega even if we go a lot of breakers down i know we are alpha and omega whatever happens doesn't matter i know we can sort it out alpha and omega alpha and omega
Another thing I would love to hear feedback from you guys in the comment section is to let me know if when you're watching these types of cleaning marathons, you prefer just hearing more music since you have me playing in the background as you're cleaning yourself. So some good motivating music to get you going. Or do you like having me kind of speak over, although they are previous videos that are compiled into a playlist still explaining what I'm doing in each of the areas to kind of guide you through all of the spaces as I go. curious to know are you guys the one in your household that takes out all the recycles and the garbage or is that a task that you have on your hubby's to-do list that kind of usually does I want to say 90% of the time this is what Mike does but on days when I'm trying to get it all done I rather not wait for him to come home later in the night and do it and just kind of if I'm already there already doing it and especially if it's a nice day outside I will go ahead and just get started on it now we're in my bedroom it is so crazy compiling these videos together because as i mentioned they're a mix of older videos newer videos combined into one and this is what my bedroom used to look like this was our old bed as you can see it was like a velvet gray color now we've went into more like a neutral palette i've switched the style of my room which i can't wait to share with you guys once it's totally done um, but we had like the whole mirrored. It was definitely more of a glam aesthetic. And now I'm going for more of a neutral Scandinavian type of style with a little bit of boho. Cause I know the people get scared sometimes. Hope it's not this. Here I'm just kind of putting away all of Mike's clothes. He loves to use the dresser as basically like a dumping ground for all of his clothing. I do not know why, but this is a weekly occurrence for us. Just kind of never seeing the top of my dresser because it's covered in his clothes. I like to get them put away. 
in the closet in the drawers and then you already know I always like to have a pile for him to kind of tackle some things of his own this particular video oh, I remember it like it was yesterday this was when I started doing the KonMari method I showed you guys lots of different ideas I was so excited to tackle his side in particular so consolidating the socks the underwear his shirts all of that stuff it made so much more space in our drawers to be able to do it so if you guys have been on the fence whether you want to take the time to KonMari your clothing I highly suggest it it will definitely make a huge difference in your room Don't you see what a big difference this did? It's almost basically like turning your clothes into like file organization. And then I, of course, had to do mine. I don't let my clothing and my sections to get as crazy as he does his. I feel like it's just kind of in me. It stresses me out when things are just organized. But to be able to kind of my stuff has definitely also been a huge help. I'll admit this was done. I want to say this was probably a video from like a year ago. And my clothing has stayed pretty intact. I've been pretty good at keeping up with the whole method. But him, on the other hand, I would say only one, maybe one and a half of the three draws on his end have actually stayed like this. I constantly have to upkeep, I want to say every couple of months to get it back to the way it was on his side. Got this feeling, I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason why I should ever let you go. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. No, I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without.
Sometimes I forget to breathe I'm looking in your eyes Wish you could see the things I see I don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up I certainly don't miss having these mirrors above my nightstands. It was just one more additional thing to kind of wipe clean that would get dust and fingerprints all over it. It's so much easier now. I just have like hanging um, pendants over my bed, which make them a lot easier for upkeeping. And then I'm just wiping all of these down all, as well as the actual nightstand decor. I've kind of kept it a little more to the minimum. This whole vanity setup that I have is actually now in my walk-in closet, which makes for a lot more space in our master bedroom. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down Deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Since right now it's spring and I'm tackling a lot of spring cleaning as you know on my home on my channel I thought I would incorporate some older spring cleaning videos or basically I'm tackling the baseboards this is probably the least favorite chore anytime I do it but it has to be done and it definitely makes a huge difference I don't have to worry about us inhaling all this dust so usually I'll take like a duster get rid of the dust I take my handheld vacuum vacuum that up and then lastly as you see here I just kind of spray a microfiber or cloth because anytime I'm dusting I feel like it doesn't fully grab everything the vacuum so this just ensures that everything's nice and clean and fresh again
to open up the windows again when the weather starts getting warmer is so nice and this is the perfect time to go ahead and tackle cleaning the interior as well as the exterior of your windows because you don't have to worry about it getting too cold like it is in the winter time and I noticed after the fall and the winter all of those seasons things tend to pile up with like the leaves and the dirt pollen from the trees so it's really great to focus on the exterior as well as the inside this way your rooms your kids rooms are nice and fresh and you're not going to be worrying about all of that stuff accumulating over time. Lightning strikes by my window It's my chest right in the morning Like a warning Could have slept here for days You guys are new here you will have not known that actually organizing is one of my deep loves I have a passion for it I love doing it and on this particular day we're just tackling some under the sink organization I had a farmhouse sinks which I had never had before when we moved into this house so it gets a little tricky to organize under there I will say with the piping and it having a much shorter area to organize it's a little bit wider but it's definitely short so measuring is key anytime you're going to be organizing a space so I like to measure the width that I have as well as the height because anytime you go into stores I feel like I used to be guilty of finding things that looked really pretty and looked like they would work for my space I would buy them and then I would come home and it would just be really frustrating you waste double amount of time the money so best just measure everything then head to your store, see what's going to work, and then you can basically consolidate in different sections. That's what I like to do. So let's say glass cleaners with each other, dish soaps in another section, floor products. This way we can have everything in different areas. And I am a big fan of decanting. So if you have different spray bottles that you want to keep in unison, I highly suggest that. For this particular video, I didn't have any just yet, but I just picked up from the Target Dollar Spot a bunch of matching spray bottles. So I'm going to be updating actually the under the sink organization to have all of those matching and I'll just add some labels to them.
and these acrylic drawers are actually meant for shoes believe it or not from the container store but I love to use them in so many different areas of my house in the bathrooms underneath the sinks the kitchen cabinets because they have drawers you're able to stack them and utilize the most height you have in your space to store a lot more If any of you are expecting a little baby currently, here's some pregnancy motivation. I was full force. I had definitely nesting going on when I was pregnant. I did lots of cleaning videos, organizing, clean and decorate with me's. I have a feeling that was probably one of the key reasons that I actually gave birth to my second daughter two weeks early because I was just nonstop. I had lots of videos I was doing, lots of cleaning and organizing. As you can see there, I wasn't feeling too hot towards the end. At this point, I think I was probably just like four weeks away from giving birth. Um, but I just had so much on my plate that I wanted to get done. And if you don't know, my daughter's actually now um, 10 months old. She'll be turning one soon. So... I gave birth in the spring and that means lots of nesting and tying that together with spring cleaning definitely makes for a very busy pregnant mama. <laughs> Never could it bite 
for the kitchen as usual I just like to kind of clear off all my countertops so after I do the dishes I get everything back in its order clean off all of that so we can have a nice fresh start for the short duration that it is clean between my husband and my little ones and then this was actually the first time I got my newest vacuum it's a cordless and it's on a pod system I get a lot of questions on this vacuum because you guys now see it in every single one of my cleaning videos it's the one that we use for the entire main level of our house I have it charged in my laundry room and it's on a pod system so that means that this actually will last you for a month you don't have to go in and clean out all the dirt like I used to have to do with like my Dyson in. that one now I just keep on the downstairs level of our house because I like to have one on each floor so I'm not constantly switching them especially because these just of course run on um, charging and using it they're cordless so the battery life isn't as long but this one works so great as I mentioned I change it out only one time a month it is so much easier to clean than a Dyson which I really love so this one's been a go-to for me so if you've been contemplating it you've been seeing it on my channel like I said I got a lot of questions from you guys I definitely say go for it for the convenience of the whole pod system for me it's a game changer but it is going to be, of course, a little extra expense that you kind of have to keep purchasing the pods. I usually buy them like in a five pack every few months. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Something in the This mirror used to have to be cleaned, I want to say, like every two weeks. But now that we have a little crawler, she's constantly touching it. So I have to clean it almost daily. <laughs> um, now we're in my bathroom. This is actually our first floor bathroom. So I'm going to be cleaning that. You guys already know we do the toilets. At this point, we actually didn't have the shower door. So it was a lot easier for me to kind of sit down and really get in there. Now we have our glass shower doors installed already. That was one of the DIY projects projects that we tackled I want to say like six months ago around the summertime um, so I'm just cleaning off the toilets we're going to do the sink deep clean we're also going to be tackling the floors and all of that stuff
to call it the catch-all area. You guys already know this is where we come in by the side door. So I'm just always having to basically just declutter this room because everything that doesn't belong there ends up just here. As soon as we come in, it's like the bags, the jackets, the book bags, just everything. As I mentioned, if Mike's even like working on a house project, the tools end up on there. I have no idea how. Um, and my, live, my, my dining room has actually also changed since I filmed this video. We got a new credenza. We put new wall art, new lamps. So it's exciting to look back and see how the, these videos, how it used to be and how it looks different now. This one is going to give you guys some major, major organization ideas, motivation, because I decided at same thing nine months pregnant to empty out every single one of my cabinets and kitchen drawers and reorganize them, get them in order. This was probably my favorite one that I did. This is our little coffee station. So I turned this into a coffee draw. So it has to go lids, to go sleeves, all of our Nespresso pods, teas, and it's just really great. Absolutely love how that turned out and then right above there I have some cabinets I needed to remove things from declutter them I got rid of things that I don't really use when we moved into this house I tried to not bring over things that I wasn't really going to be using but we all know we're guilty of some of those items that were like maybe I'm gonna use it but ultimately after doing this especially because a new baby was on the way I was just ready to get out with the old in with the new and I went ahead and really went down and dirty all into deep cleaning decluttering and major organization We had everything we needed You put me aside 
Ben organizing infamous junk draw. Believe it or not, I actually have two in this kitchen and I really want to get rid of one because I feel like two is just excessive, especially because this one right here is a pretty large size. As you can see, I keep like the pens, my oils, my lighters for the candles, all that stuff, stamps. I feel like I should maybe kind of consolidate a couple of items so we can make it all into one draw, but it's always great when you have a junk drawer that doesn't look like a messy junk and you have it nice and tidy. Organizing the snack drawer that we have in our kitchen just reminds me of one of my favorite days of all, and that is a refill day. Does anyone find it oddly satisfying anytime, let's say, your coffee runs out, your detergents, all that stuff, and you just have to restock every single item and put it all good as new again? That just makes me really happy. 
And then here I'm just organizing our baking cabinet, all of that stuff. Method anti-back was like one of my go-tos, especially when I'm giving everything a good deep clean. And then I'm going to be using my glass cleaner because I have two glass cabinets in my kitchen that I like to basically have our everyday items. Luckily, they're like clear glass, insulated, and I have little pops of blush, which you guys know is my signature color. <laughs> That I can't live without you Okay, so we are almost at now the one hour mark of cleaning motivation. Round of applause for you guys for making it through one hour of cleaning. If you are watching and tackling as you go, you got this, you do it, just keep on going. We only have one more hour left to do this. We are going to go ahead and continue on with some deep cleaning of the living room, decluttering, getting everything put on away, and of course, my favorite of all, some more organization. A smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause you got a style The way your body makes my heart beat sound It's amazing all the time You are the only thing I need in life Oh, I want you
This was actually post-party cleanup in my kitchen. Last year, we had Mila's fourth birthday, actually like a birthday drive-by, but I still wanted to make our whole kitchen island very special for her and decorate it like if she were to be having a real party. Um, this year, it looks like times are a little bit better, but kind of the same. So we're going to be doing an outdoor birthday party because my little girl turns five. I can't believe how fast the time has gone by. But yes, I'm just kind of putting away all the things we had used for her little birthday setup, getting all rid of it. This way we can get our kitchen back in working order and back to the way that it was and tidying up everything on the countertops, the floors, and all of that stuff in our kitchen and living room. Some more refill day motivation, restocking all of my Nespresso pods that I got in. This is probably the best day when a Nespresso delivery shows up because that means that mama's not going to be so tired because she's going to have her daily caffeine. <laughs> this funny enough here, I had my two coffee machines. I used to use a Keurig. If you use one and you're contemplating an espresso, go for it. No longer hesitate. Don't be like me and wait three years because it was the best thing I ever got. And for any new moms, expecting moms, I suggest forget all the fluff and extra things that you need on your baby registry or if you're getting married, don't worry about anything else. Just put an espresso on there, especially if you're an expecting mom because you are going to need all the caffeine. It was such a lifesaver come baby number two and I was able to get through all the tough times and major sleep progression. I was falling through the air. No one let myself to hold my hand. Shadows of where we've been Sleeping with your back facing me I know, I know, I know this isn't us Baby, pull me closer, let's fall in love Here I'm actually doing some cleaning and decorating. This one probably is one of my summer clean and decorate with me videos. I'm curious, would you guys still like ideas this summer? Do you decorate for the summertime or do you kind of just leave your spring decor up through all of those seasons? If you are decorating for summer or you would like to see that here on my channel, go ahead and drop in the comment section some ideas, some things you would like to see, whether it be a color palette you want me to share that you need ideas on or a particular style like here I did, of course, like the whole lemon theme for summer. Let me know. I would love to hear your guys' feedback.
pieces all at once Wish that what we said would come undone Feels like our minds have been turned off Haven't seen each other for so long Now I'm just doing some living room cleaning, getting rid of everything that doesn't belong in there. My little four-year-old, she still is obsessed with changing multiple times a day. So a lot of the time, all of her clothes trickle down from upstairs, coming on down to our living room space that I'm always having to put away. Um, I also recently changed out the rug in this room, which it looks so different with our new rug that's much larger. I feel like it definitely opens the space a lot more. I'm just fluff fluffing my pillows, getting rid of the older ones, putting on some new ones. It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night Love and heartbreak was our life We got drunk and smoked your dad's cigarettes Dreamt of a life in a big town Skyscrapers and neon lights Ooh, I still think of you handy little tool that I got on Amazon. It's meant for your um, window blinds, but I actually love to also use it here like on the grills of my fireplace because we all know those small hard to reach places. You see how dusty and dirty they get? That's why we don't have any pets. Imagine if we did, it would get even more pet hairs and things like that in there. So these have definitely dual purposes. Don't feel like you just have to use it on your window blinds. You can definitely use them for different smaller areas in your house that you really want to get in. They also work really great if you're cleaning actually along your baseboards and things like that. I like to use these. I have just have so many different methods that I use them for. Please 
I can't wait for the spring to start so we can start using our breakfast nook area with the sliding doors open, getting some fresh air. So I'm just cleaning this table from top to bottom. Same thing under there, it likes to get a lot of dust so I like to usually move about any type of large furniture every couple of months, kind of move it on around because believe it or not, you're going to see lots of things underneath that you may have missed. So if you're doing your spring cleaning, one of the top things I suggest is moving around your larger pieces of furniture. Even if you can't do it yourself, go ahead, ask someone for a helping hand. This way you can move it out the way and you can go ahead and really deep clean under all of those areas. I told you every single time, don't you worry. You would always call me at the wrong time. So you can know what I was up to. Oh, don't you get that? It's just stupid. questions on my pink pots and pans. I absolutely love them. They were home goods fine last year. And now that we're back into the spring season, I have been seeing them pop up all over. I was in Marshalls the other day, TJ Maxx, all of the stores had them. So if you have been on the hunt, I definitely suggest checking there. They're at a really great price point. And like I said, I have had mine now for a year and they've been held holding up really great. The only thing I will say is that they can't be thrown in your dishwasher. They are hand and wash only so if you're someone that doesn't really like that and just love the ease of dishwashing believe me I feel you um then you probably are gonna want to pass on these I'm just hand drying all of those dishes that were hand wash only, getting them put away. And this drying mat, we actually no longer use because believe it or not, it ruined our quartz countertop. It left like staining, water stains. So now I use the good old school just dish rack on the countertop. It's very bulky and I don't personally love how much space it takes on the counter, but to preserve like the integrity, we all know how expensive um, purchasing quartz countertops and things like that are. We're just kind of using that as of now and it's working out a lot better and hasn't provided any additional damage to our countertops. You're gone now, will you come me back? Yeah, I know that, yeah, I know that. You're the traveling kind, it's a known fact.
guys love vacuuming or hate it? Personally, for me, I actually really love it. It's definitely not a chore I mind at all. I actually really prefer because I don't like seeing things all over the floor. So because it's cordless, it's really simple and easy. I will probably vacuum at least two times a day and it's the easiest of chores. And then this definitely had to be clips from my video where I teach you tips and tricks on how to make your home smell amazing. If you guys have not watched that video, I highly suggest checking it out because it is the simplest of ways that's actually going to make a world of a difference. Usually when you're in your own home, you get used to the scents and you don't necessarily feel like there may be, let's say, a lingering odor or something. But when someone new enters your house, they definitely can smell something. So to avoid that, you always want to make sure your home smells fresh and clean. So I share a couple of tips that you can use in your bathrooms in your kitchens here of course is the little entry where we have some shoes and just little things you can do throughout the day or when you do your weekly cleaning to ensure that it's smelling the freshest the longest I have, of course, you guys know, a little diffuser in my kitchen. I use my oils, but I also love me my Bath & Body Works candles. <laughs> I know they say those aren't the healthiest. It's best to just diffuse oils and be inhaling that stuff. But, you know, a girl has her favorite scents, and I kind of can't stay away from them. So I do like to do a mix depending on the day I'm feeling. And I do also like to mix in not only good smelling oils, but I also will place in there, like, if we're not feeling that well that day or... Or as of late, the kids have been kind of crazy with being home all the time. I put a little bit of stress away and it definitely helps us all. <laughs> And in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With a habit to the restless me I'm leaving all that stuff behind We can start all over In our
the first one to get off at the station There's something in the air that I can't play And now I see a silhouette in the dark It's like time has stood still some laundry I feel like anytime you need some motivation one of the top things to do is definitely laundry it's a dreadful task that we never want to do because there are just so many steps to the process not only do you have to get them sorted you have to wash them you have to dry them you have to air dry some you have to fold them and then you have to put them away so <laughs> I definitely struggle with completing from A to Z all the way in one day but you guys, if you're watching this, stay motivated, stay on task, go ahead. My idea for you guys is just kind of do like a load a day, a load every couple of days. This way it doesn't get so overwhelming because I notice when I wait for it to pile up like three, four days, then there's just too much to tackle and I get overwhelmed and it just becomes too much to the point where then I notice I stop halfway and then it just tor turns into like a whole tornado effect. My favorite videos to date definitely has to be my spice drawer organization. I had this idea for a while of how I wanted to organize our spice drawer. We had this incorporated when I designed our kitchen space. I just love the ease of it. When we're cooking, we could easily like reach for things. But it was about a year of living here and I hadn't organized it. So when you don't have spaces organized, you're basically not utilizing the space to its full capabilities, especially when you incorporate different things like this into a design. It's really important to also tie in an organization system so it can work just as great. So I deep cleaned the spice draw. I went ahead, decanted all the bottles into these beautiful glass ones that have like these wood lids. You guys already know I love the white and gold kitchen, but I always felt like it needed warmth. So I've been adding lots of wood elements into the kitchen. This way it brings back a little more to life and it doesn't look like such a stark white and gold, like flat type of design. So I went ahead, decanted all of these into smaller and larger jars, put them in my spice rack, and then I used my Cricut maker to do my custom labels and it made such a huge difference and I was just so happy how it came out. I've been feeling so small, watched the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go, spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I just wanna feel alive, it's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town, look at those beautiful stars I 
Drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive. Because I love organizing so much, it definitely takes me a lot of time because I put a lot of love and effort in all the organizi organizing that I do. I don't like to kind of do things quickly in a rush. I like to kind of come up with an idea that's going to work for our particular space and then really take the time to label and organize everything. So if you guys have any areas that you're kind of struggling with, you don't know what to do, or you just love to see my input and my spin on how I tackle the space, let me know down in the comment section I can definitely add it to my filming list I know a lot of you in one of my previous videos had mentioned that you wanted to see some linen closet organization so I definitely have that one on there but if there's anything else I would love to hear your feedback I wanna drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town Nothing can break me. Another little tip for you guys when you're organizing is actually when you're designing a kitchen, I feel like when you do these custom bamboo wood inserts, they can be like $300 and upwards. At least that was this case in my kitchen design. But I decided that you can just buy it yourself and buy these expandable bamboo dividers, which you can purchase right on Amazon, and they can custom fit any draw space that you have. It works so great because you get the whole custom look and and feel but you're not spending so much money I'm pretty sure these are only around $20 and then when you add custom labels like I did here it just even adds to it even more it makes it really easy for everyone in your house to follow the system and kind of keep it in place I've been waiting for this yeah. it's been up on my mind oh it's hard to resist
just because you declutter and organize it, a space once doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to work forever. A lot of the times it's trial and error, especially for a high traffic area like this under my sink. So as you saw about a year ago, I did my very first system and it worked great, but there were a couple of things that I preferred and thought would work better. So here I am just months later, kind of reevaluating, seeing what actually we need, don't need, relabeling items that I felt that we use a little more frequently and going ahead and rearranging that this way it can work even better for our family. Nursery organization is definitely something you want to tackle. It will help in your whole nesting process. So here I am reorganizing my daughter's drawers once again. I did this right before she was born and then she was due to have it re-evaluated since we didn't know the gender that we were having when I was pregnant. So I had things that weren't so gender specific. And now that she's a little girl, we went ahead and have like bows in the drawers and things like that that were just kind of shattered not shattered, scattered all through her room. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure we had something that definitely worked better for her specifically. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are now at the one hour and 30 minute mark. Keep going, just 30 more minutes of cleaning to go. I know you can do this. Keep pushing through as much as you may want to sit down, take a break and pause. If you continue going, you definitely can accomplish it and do it. So just keep on at it. Finish up those last little tasks that you may have because like I said, we just have 30 minutes left to go. From here on out, I'm gonna do a little less talking, a little more music playing to get you going. I 
saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange Don't even know your name have some closet organization right so here you go get your closets going get those deep cleaned get them decluttered do donate piles trash piles save piles this way you can get everything orderly back in place back to the way you want it take your little vacuums vacuum everything out to make sure it's dust free clean take some antibacterial spray and get on in there and get it done
follow my motto, organize, but make it pretty. This is really what keeps me going whenever I'm doing my organization process because sometimes it can get very tedious and tiring and take hours and days long to do. But if you have little things that are going to spark joy as you're organizing, I definitely think that makes a world of a difference and definitely continues to keep you motivated. So anytime I'm designing a space, I always like to do a little focal part, a little piece that I know is going to make bring a smile to my face and keep me going and make me know exactly why I'm continuing to do this just like this little acrylic actual file divider that I decided to turn into my baby girl's sunglass holder I just want to let you know behind the mirrors and all that smoke promises and alibis I don't believe I don't believe Change my world. Now I know what you are worth. Gone and lost your hold on me. I don't believe, I don't believe. Happy acting like a fool to no use. Got me wondering why you still give me. going to be finishing off this long two-hour cleaning motivation video with some more of my recent uploads if you guys have not checked them out here I'm doing some more bedroom cleaning you can see a little more peeks at the now updated bedroom compared to the first clips in the beginning of this video which was my previous design that I had and decor now we're kind of switching things up so I'm cleaning that all out I still want to change the hardware in this room if you can see there it still has like glam element elements that I want to take on out and do some matte gold hardware so we're going to do that all little by little to be able to finally share you with you guys once I'm totally done but we're just putting away all the clothes like I told you it is the never-ending pile that keeps on giving <laughs> this is just basically exactly where my husband thinks all the clothes go instead of in his closet and drawers <laughs> Sounds like we're just talking in riddles
After all the clothes were basically piled into a light, dark, and white pile, I went ahead and wanted to get started on one of the loads, so I brought down the white since those are my sheets and I needed to sleep with them later that night. I put them into the washer, got that load going while I continued upstairs in cleaning and finishing off the bedroom. Been all around the world oh, Every city, every place If you are new here, we actually purchased a fixer upper sight unseen home. My husband and I have actually done all the projects ourselves, so DIY home here 100%. And this was one of our most recent projects was our basement. We have wanted to tackle this space, especially with two little ones. This way they can have an area where they have a whole playroom on one side, and then on the other side we're going to have like a sofa, wet bar, a nice hangout area for the parents when we're hanging out with the kids and all of the family. So this was post reno. We're still not 100% done, but I just needed to tackle it. So getting rid of garbage, the clutter. If you guys are doing any type of home projects right now, then this will definitely motivate you to go ahead and get that cleaned on up and get everything out the way so you can start enjoying your new space. Make us faster, hurry, make it happen, for we know it, I'll be on my way home. 
we're chilling. I guess you and I, every crazy summer night, baby, I am coming home. I'm coming home. Longing for you, pick up the phone. Catching a flight, I'm coming home. Back to the place I've always known. Home, home. Seeing you soon, I got a run. We're gonna have a lot of fun. It's been in this summer.
less than 10 minutes more of cleaning to go so keep pushing through you guys if you are new here and you have enjoyed all of the cleaning motivation i provided for you in today's video definitely consider hitting that subscribe button i would love to have you if you enjoy cleaning organization as well as home decor content i share all of that over here on my page i always love to make you help create your home a place that you love that brings you joy so in keeping it clean organized and of course having fun decorating it and making it more a place for you is what i'm all about so i hope you'll stay and i hope you'll join me on my youtube journey in watching more videos coming your way like you're fearless, still on the go. You're fearless Steal all the gold You can get, you can get Show me your love And leave me breathless, breathless
hit you up, I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came your way to strong. Cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof. Auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. Off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? Finally finishing um, off with some good deep cleaning of all the baseboards, giving everything a good steam mop. Anytime I want to get a nice good deep cleaning and I know the floors are really bad, I always like to pull out my steam mop because I know that's going to be tackling everything best of all. And this is it, you guys. This now completes the video. We are counting down just 10 seconds left until you have reached the two-hour point. Congratulations. You made it. You did it. A full two hours of cleaning. I hope your home is now feeling fresher and cleaner. And best of all, I hope you feel motivated and accomplished that you completed this extreme cleaning motivation. Thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed watching. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next one. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye. Oh, no.